Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be everything that I wish I had on my registry as a first time mom. This video is a continuation on my friend Maddie and I's series on being a first time mom. We have covered so many awesome things from regrets we've made as a first time mom, talking all about breastfeeding and what we wish we knew about breastfeeding and also what we wish we knew about newborn babies. And this video for me is going to be everything that I wish I had on my registry. Now Maddie is actually pregnant with her fourth baby boy. So she is going to be doing a video talking about everything that she's going to be putting on her registry for this baby. Definitely after this video, go check her out. And if you are here from Maddie's channel, welcome. I'm seriously so happy to have you here. My videos are very similar to Maddie's. They're all about motherhood, lifestyle type videos. I have a three-year-old daughter named Everly and I have a one-year-old son named Truett. So but anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this video. As a first time mom, I was pretty clueless when it came to everything you will need for a baby. With my daughter, we weren't necessarily trying to get pregnant, my husband and I. She was a surprise, a very happy surprise. We were so excited, but I wasn't like, thinking about babies at the time that I did get pregnant. So there are so many things that I wish I would have put on my registry that I didn't and that would have made my life so much easier. So if you are a first time mom and you're feeling very lost about what to put on your registry exactly, I really hope that this helps you out. Something that I really wish I would have done is get a stroller that can also turn into a double stroller. Strollers can be crazy pricey, and if you are planning on having more children, I would already get one that is expandable. It's going to save you so much money in the long run. So there are so many good ones out there. I would really just do a little bit of research and just find which one works for your budget and which one works for your lifestyle the best. I really like the even flow one because I like the look of it and also I like the price of it and it's also very easy to use and I like how it's able to collapse and fit in the car easily. Another thing that I would look into when getting a stroller is to get one that has a bassinet attachment on it. With your newborn baby, they are not going to be able to sit in a regular stroller seat and the even flow does come with a bassinet as well and we use the heck out of that with our newborn baby. Something else that I wish that I had put on my registry that I think a lot of people don't think about is I wish I had like a mini fridge that went inside our bedroom. During the night, you're going to be doing a lot of feeding just as much as during the day with your little newborn baby. I feel like having a mini fridge in there would have been very convenient because that way I would have been able to store the extra milk that I was producing and l instead of it all going to waste because there are so many nights where I was way too tired to take my breast milk down to the fridge to save it and it would just sit on my bedside table and then by the morning it just really wasn't good anymore. And when it comes to your registry, I really recommend putting the more expensive items on your registry because a lot of times family and friends can go in on it together and get those items for you. I always used Amazon to register with and I highly recommend using Amazon. They make it so simple for you and they also make it very easy for friends and family to go in on something together and you are also able to price that out for everyone which is really convenient. So I definitely recommend using Amazon. Another one that I really wish I had on my registry was a portable sound machine. I feel like sometimes you don't really think about this, but having a sound machine that you are able to attach to your car seat or to your stroller helps so much with soothing a baby as you're out and about. I actually would always use my phone because there are different like sound machine apps on your phone and I would always do that but it would be so much more convenient just to have a portable one instead of having to use my phone. Another item that I really recommend getting quite a few of for your newborn baby is sleepers that have double zippers and also mitts. Double zippers make 
all the difference in the world on being able to change diapers with ease instead of having to completely take off the entire outfit. Newborn babies tend to love to grab and scratch their little face. At least my babies did. Both of my babies did that. And I would always get like actual baby mitts to put on their hands, but it was always very hard to keep track of those and I would always be losing one. And so the sleepers that have built-in ones with that help so much. So another big necessity are muslin burp cloths. They just seem to absorb better than regular burp cloths. They're also just so soft and I really recommend getting the like extra big ones. They're pretty affordable off of Amazon. I will link everything that I talk about below for you guys so it is very easy for you to just add that right to your registry. Another thing that I loved and helped me so much with my sanity with both of my newborn babies was the Owlet sock monitor. My husband and I did not put this on our registry. We actually ended up getting it last minute before my daughter was born because I was like so on the fence about it. And I wish I would have just put it on my registry because it is pricey. And if family and friends were able to like go in on it together, it really would have helped TJ and I's budget out so much because I think it is like around $300. So it is definitely a pricier item. Another must have product is a baby swing. I know so many people have mixed opinions on this and everybody's different, every baby's different. So you just kind of got to figure out what works for you. Personally, I think the cheaper ones, seem to do the trick just as much as the more expensive ones. There are some really, really great ones off of Amazon that aren't just going to completely break the budget. Again, I will make sure to put a few different options below for you guys, but a swing is a must have. Now, another item that I personally love, I didn't have it with my first baby, but I used the heck out of it with my second baby was the Snuggle Me. I know again, this is another one of those baby items that people have so many mixed opinions about, but I personally use mine all the time with my second baby. It was something that was very easy for me to move around the house and put in different places, and I always had somewhere for him to lay down in, somewhere I could just like put him in if I needed to do something, and I know he was nice and comfortable. Something else that I use the heck out of, especially with my newborn babies, is a rocking chair. And the one we have now, we have a leather one, and y'all, I am obsessed with it like if you are on the hunt for a rocking chair look no further this is the perfect one I love the look of it it rocks perfectly it is durable it is not crazy pricey and it's just perfect I think um, so I will definitely link it below another item that you can get right off of Amazon is the Miss Fong diaper bag I love love this diaper bag. It is super cute. It has all the functions you would want as in a diaper bag and it also is very affordable. So that is a really great one to start off with. Um, another diaper bag that I really recommend is the Luli BB. I think that's how you say it. Luli BB diaper bag. And this one, y'all, I swear it is a Mary Poppins diaper bag. You can literally fit anything and everything in there just because of how the shape is. Somehow make it like boxy. They come in such beautiful different colors. Let me know if you guys would be interested in like an updated diaper bag video. I haven't done one of those in a while so both of those diaper bags I highly recommend. Something else I really highly recommend is not to overdo it. What I mean by that, as a new mom, you think you're going to need so many things of the same thing. I feel like I'm not explaining this very good. When it comes to bottles, you don't know what bottle your baby is going to prefer. So I really recommend just getting like maybe three different types of bottles just to see what your baby prefers and then you can get more. You can definitely waste money in getting too many bottles and then coming to find out your baby doesn't like any of those bottles and then you're like, well, now I just have all these bottles that I don't even use. Or like binkies, I wouldn't get like a whole 
bunch of binkies. So just getting like a few different brands here and there and then going from there after your baby is born. Now, I know when it comes to different swaddles, there are so many different options out there. It can sometimes get overwhelming and I wish that I would have just started the love to dream swaddle. It's not like a regular swaddle where they're in like a straight jacket. It's a swaddle where they're still able to keep their little arms up like this. And I love it because this swaddle really works, but it also makes it a lot easier when you need to transfer out of swaddling. I had such an easier time transferring my son out of swaddling than I did with my daughter because we use the straight jacket type of swaddles. Another item that wasn't really a thing when I had my daughter, and that is the car camera. I'm sure you've heard of like car mirrors, but now they make car cameras. You're able to watch them right here while you're in the front seat. And I just think that would be so very helpful than having to turn around and look at them. Another item that is a must have is some sort of carrier for your baby. I love the Lullaboo baby slings. They are so wonderful, so well made, so easy to use and your baby feels nice and secure to you. Another one if you're looking for more of those like ring slings are Hope and Plum. They make absolutely beautiful slings. They also have great ones off of Amazon as well. I will definitely link some below for you guys, but a ring sling or some sort of sling is a must for your little newborn. Another item that I really recommend getting is a play mat for your little one. Two play mats that I love is the Dove play mat. They make an absolutely beautiful, very boho type of play mat. And I got this for Truett and I use the heck out of it. And another play mat that is probably my all time favorite play mat is the Lovery play mat. This is the play mat of all play mats. It comes with many different features. When they are in a playful mood, you can put them down and let them learn to roll and let them get some tummy time. So I really recommend a good play mat. Another item that I use the heck out of is my Frida baby no sucker. I know for a lot of people, this can be very intimidating, but it's actually very simple to use and it gets so much snot out of their little nose. Also the windy, if your baby has bad gas, that helps so much too, just to relieve them. So I really recommend those. Frida Mom, Frida Baby has amazing products. So I really recommend checking them out. I just got done filming and I realized I forgot to mention that I do have a newborn must-haves video where I go over everything that I recommend getting your newborn starting from A to Z. So I will also link that video below if you guys are interested. But that is everything for this video. My mouth is getting so dry from talking. <sighs> And if you are expecting a baby, congratulations. That is so exciting and don't get overwhelmed. You got this. And the fact that you are watching this video and doing research already shows you're gonna be a wonderful mama. Definitely check out Maddie's channel. I will make sure to leave her information down below along with everything that I talked about in this video. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.